In today's video, we are seeing what is left of six different types of alcohol once you freeze dry it. Guys, Grace and I have been left alone in the studio again today. The marshmallow is still there. Good. <laughs> So we have six different alcoholic beverages here. Uh, normally you wouldn't drink a lot of these straight. You'll notice that we just have rum, vodka, whiskeys. We have one mixed drink just to uh, sort of show off the different varieties that there are. What we want to test today is how much flavor is actually left once you get rid of all of the alcohol in an alcoholic beverage. Is it going to have a bitter flavor? Is the whiskey going to taste like whiskey? Is the vodka going to have anything left? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Here's the basic idea. We have six different alcoholic beverages. Some of these are mixed and some of them are straight. We want to know what is going to be left if we freeze dry them and remove all the alcohol from the beverages. I'm intrigued by this because, I mean, Fireball in itself has, it's so a cinnamon whiskey sugary. and it's very sugary. So I'm intrigued to see after all the alcohol is evaporated, well, freeze dried off, mm -hmm. what's left of this because in my mind, it's gonna taste like cinnamon. It'd be like a cinnamon stick. Yes. Yeah. But I don't think that's what the result is going to be. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and get out the scale. I wanna make sure that we are pouring the exact same amount in each one. So I'm thinking two ounces. All right, if you wanna start labeling those, we'll start out with the Tito's handmade vodka. So this says that it's gluten-free and it's been distilled six times. So vodka is made out of potatoes. Different types of alcohol are made with different plants, different ingredients. Rum is made from sugar cane, while vodka is made from potatoes. It says it's been distilled six times, meaning that it's been purified, meaning, yeah, I'm gonna bet that there's not a whole lot left of this. Yeah, my guess is that there's not gonna be a whole lot left after this all evaporates off. Mm -hmm. um, I would be interested. Cool. Yep, that That's, smells like hand sanitizer. That smells like hand sanitizer. <laughs> When you are shopping for alcohol, they have different shelf levels. So they have top shelf liquor and there's bottom shelf li liquor. And I think it'd be interesting to compare the different types of vodkas and what would be left over from them after we do the freeze drying process with them. I like that. Maybe we should try that next time. Yeah. All right, so that's 2.01 ounces. I'm gonna say that's pretty darn close there. So as comparison for our Tito's vodka, I actually went ahead and got us a mixed drink because I wanted to kind of show what could be left afterwards. To give you an example, this is 40% alcohol. So this is 80 proof, whereas this is 10% alcohol. So it's saying it has about three shots of vodka per can. And uh, there's gonna be a lot of sugar in it. There's lime juice, there's ginger soda. And that one's been six times distilled also. I yes. saw it on the back side. Yes, so also six times distilled, but it's gonna have other things in it. So that's what I wanna see. Both of these are 40%, so both of them are 80 proof. So this will be interesting to know what is uh, different about these two whiskeys. Our third whiskey, which again, this one has cinnamon in it, it's a cinnamon whiskey. So this has less alcohol, but it's very sugary. So while these are both 80 proof, this one is 60 proof, I believe. 66 proof. So 33% alcohol. So a little bit less, but a lot more sugar. All right, so we've got all of our uh, different types of alcohols all put in the tray, we're good to go. Let's go ahead and throw it in the freeze dryer, come back in 24 hours and see what's left. It's been 24 hours and something has happened to our freeze dryer. Terrible, terrible things Let's have go happened. Look. <laughs> what exactly happened? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It literally exploded. <laughs> How is that even possible with what we put in there? Like there was a little bit of carbonation, sure, from the, the Moscow Mule, but other than that. And there's nothing, there's <laughs> nothing in some of them. All right, we don't know what this one is, but that one has caused some problems. Hang on, let's see if we can guess by flavor. It's sweet. Is that the fireball? That's fireball. So that just goes to show you how much sugar is in fireball. Guys, Nate's just suggested something that he's never suggested before. We could probably turn this into cotton candy. Put it in the comments below and I will do it. I will turn fireball into cotton candy. All right, with the exception of the fireball, because we know what it will do now, we're actually going to go ahead and take an ounce of everything that we had before that we had over two ounces of and put them in their same spot. So we're gonna go ahead and ignore what the amount of the label is, but we're going to keep the labels the same. All right, we've got them all measured out again. We've got about one ounce for each little cup. Let's put this back in the freeze dryer. Okay, Kelly, have you been in the garage? 
No? It's freezing. Okay. So again, we had a lot of 40 proof alcohols, but then we had our Moscow Mule, which had a lot of sugar. And Nate actually pointed this out. This is kind of interesting. We've had this happen twice now. It's shiny. It's like it's made a hard shell. I'm gonna try and crack out a piece. It's like a hard candy. Hmm. That tastes just like, like a lime or a lemon candy. It's sugary, it's sweet. Again, the alcohol in this process probably evaporates off before the water itself does. There's nothing left here. There's no alcohol in this. It's just flavor <laughs> at this point. So that's kind of interesting. Our rum and our vodka just seem to have gone away entirely. Oof. There's a little bit of what looks like dust in our Bacardi, but I honestly think that's coming from the Jack Daniels. Yeah, I think it also could have been overflow from the vanilla extract because it looks like it's a yeah, little it did bit right of like here brown. Too. Yeah. So could have just like hopped on over. But I think that's very interesting. I think that our theory with the vodkas mm -hmm. that we thought about testing, I don't really know even if we use the bottom shelf vodka if there would be anything yeah, left. Yeah, it's, it's a little too distilled at that point. Yeah. However, if you look at our grain alcohol, our whiskeys here, there is a lot of flavoring is the best way I can put it, left over. And guys, if you've ever just tried straight up whiskey flavor. I'm out. I'm out. By that face, if Kelly can't handle it, I absolutely cannot you handle it. You have to it. try it for I science. Can't. For science. The louder you yell science, the more scientific it is. Science! <laughs> go, go, go. Oh, there's so much. What? Yeah, why though? Because my hands are sweaty, so it just <laughs> absorbs onto my finger. I rehydrated. Amazing. Okay, Grogu. <laughs> I just want to go like clean my tongue now. <laughs> we... I uh, hated it. <laughs> that's Jack Daniels. Let's take a look at the Jameson. Oh. If possible, in my opinion, worse. Now, some people might love the flavor of whiskey. In fact, I know a lot of people who do. I am not a fan. And so that flavor is just, mm. yeah. Mm -mm -mm. You can't even really try the flavoring left of the vodka. There's there's nothing there's left. There's literally nothing in there. There's a little bit of white powder here on the end of my finger. Interesting. It's almost salty. Okay. Let's see, Bacardi. Again, I'm worried I'm gonna get the the Jack Daniels here. Yeah, there's nothing there. That's just any little nothing. bit of flavoring is just coming from the whiskey. Interesting. So this is really interesting to see with our 80 proof alcohols, it still had a lot of residue left. However, the whiskey had nearly as much. Kind of interesting to see. So there you go. That's what happens when you freeze dry different types of high proof alcohols and what you're going to get. Is there anything else you want to see us do with the freeze dryer? Let us know in the comments below. Hey guys, if you like this kind of content, make sure you check out our latest video right over there. That way you can see our other cool experiments. We'll talk to you then.